Slaughter's my name. Luke Slaughter. Cattle's my business. It's a tough business. It's big business. I've got a big stake in it. And there's no man west of the Rio Grande big enough to take it from me. Luke Slaughter of Tombstone. Luke Slaughter of Tombstone, Civil War cavalryman turned Arizona cattleman. Across the territory, from Yuma to Fort Defiance, from Flagstaff to the Huachucas, and below the border through Chihuahua and Sonora, his name was respected or feared, depending on which side of the law you were on. Man of vision, man of legend, Luke Slaughter of Tombstone. <laughs> Yeah, those are good cattle, all right, Slaughter. Better than we've been buying for the fort. Cattle's my business, Captain. What do you give me for them? $35 a head. Fair enough. Of course, that's delivered at Fort Huachuca. Well, now that'll be $10 a head more. It's only 40 miles. Two days of trail herding. That takes time and riders. Yeah, all right. But if the beef isn't delivered to the fort by day after tomorrow, it's no deal. I'll have the herd there. Very well. See you at the fort, Slaughter. So long, Wichita. Uh, goodbye, Captain. So long. Luke Slaughter, you ain't telling me all you know. I never have, Wichita, and I'm too old to start now. Now, how come the cavalry is willing to pay $10 a head for delivery when they got riders all over the place that could trail them cattle? Trail herding's a job for cowpokes, not soldiers. <laughs> These critters are no trouble to handle. Nope, but other critters might be. Would these other critters be two-legged? Yeah. The trouble with you, Wichita, is you don't pay enough attention to what's going on. Yeah, just what is going on? Fort Huachuca's been buying its beef from the Triple X outfit down on the border. What for? They got the scrawniest cattle this side of East Texas. That's what the Army found out. Two or three times they've tried buying from some of the ranches around here. What happened? Just about everything. Stampedes, riders shot, herds scattered. Nobody's made a delivery to the fort yet except the Triple X. They never seem to have any trouble at all. Uh, well, you just sold a mess of cattle, but it looks to me like you bought yourself a peck of trouble. Maybe so. Those 40 miles to the fort could be long ones. <laughs> Howdy, Luke. What brings you to town? Him to see you, Sam. Pour me one. Uh, most folks don't go call on saloon keepers except professionally. You mean this is a social visit? Well, let's call it business. Running a place like this, you must learn a lot. <laughs> I reckon I do. Somehow folks do a lot of talking after they've been standing at the bar spell. <laughs> <laughs> and you do your share of listening? Yeah, I pick up a little information now and then. What do you know about a spread down along the border that's called the Triple X? Stay away from it. I hadn't planned on going near it. What kind of a layout is it? Supposed to be a cow outfit. Pretty poor excuse for one from what I hear. Any of their riders come in here? Mm -hmm. All of them. Every chance they get. It's a hard-drinking bunch of hombres wearing their guns down low and tied. Somehow they just don't act like real cowpokes. Hired gunslingers? Yeah, that's the way I figured. And there's a mess of them. Darn near enough for a private army. I've heard a little about the outfit. And what you say seems to fit. Who runs this spread? A fellow named Bull Watson. i never seen him. They say he never gets far from the border. <laughs> Maybe he's got a reason for sticking close to the border. Yeah, two of them. He's wanted for a killing in Bisbee and another in Tucson. Does most of his talking with a gun. What's your business with him? Well, nothing so far. But I just made a cattle deal that Watson may not like. Will you watch out for him, Luke? He's a mean one. I'll watch him. And thanks for the information, Sam. <laughs>
Oh, steady, boy. We're heading home. Hey, hold up, Eric. Just a minute. What's on your mind, stranger? You're Luke Slaughter, ain't you? That's right. I don't think I know you. I'm Slade. This is Ringo. We work for Bull Watson, Triple X. I've heard about him. We got a message for you. Okay, what is it? The boss heard you sold a lot of cattle to Fort Huachuca. <laughs> News gets around fast. Watson's got the exclusive contract to supply the fort. Well, now, it's funny the Army never mentioned that to me. Well, it's sort of an informal contract. Nobody sells beef to the Army but us. I have. And I'm hitting the trail with my herd first thing in the morning. Watson ain't gonna like it. I don't care what Watson likes. I'm going right down the Douglas Road to Crossbone Valley, up through Granite Pass and down to the fort. If Watson thinks he can stop me, he knows where he can find me. I'm a warning you, Slaughter. Don't hit the trail with them cattle. You through talking? Yep, I reckon I am. From here on, we'll beat the idea into your thick head with a barrel of a forty-five. Get him, Ringo! All right, stay where you are. <laughs> You're pretty fast with that thing. Shut up and drop your irons. That's better. Now, the two of you hit the saddle and tell Watson for me that if he's going to try and stop that cattle drive, he'd better hire every gun slick he can get his hands on. He's going to need them. Oh, oh. Howdy, Sheriff. Well, good afternoon, Luke. How's business? I ain't never seen a time when the law business wasn't real brisk in Cochise County. <laughs> yeah, I reckon you could keep busy and never get outside a tombstone. I could use about five more good deputies. Want to sign up, Luke? Well, sorry. I've got enough trouble. But maybe I can throw a little more business your way. You interested in a fellow named Bull Watson? Very much, but yeah, he's a slick one. Every time I head south, he scoots back across the border. Maybe we can lure him away from the border this time. I don't see how. He usually sends a bunch of his gunslingers to do any dirty work that has to be done. Well, I figure to keep his gunslingers so busy that the boss will have to come up and finish the job. You think you can get Watson out in the open? Deal me in. I'm trailing a herd of cattle to Fort Huachuca starting in the morning. I figured I'd have a little trouble with some of Watson's hands. Want me to go along? No, I'm starting out with my own men. And I think we'll do all right at first. But day after tomorrow, when we go over Granite Pass, Watson should be ready to make his play. If he tries anything while we're going through that gorge, I'd like to have your help. I'll round up a few men I can count on and meet you there. If I get my hands on Watson, it'll be well worth the trip. All right. Meet me at the south end of Granite Pass on Thursday morning. I'll try to set it up so he'll come to the party. Okay, Wichita. Here's where we leave the road and take off through the hills. Let's get him turned. Okay, Luke. Ha! Get on there! Oh! Get Let's get him going. Come on, let's ride on ahead. Where are we going? I want to take a look at Pistol Springs. The water's dried up there. We'll have to go ten miles out of our way to get back to the river. Hey, Luke, if you was to ask me... I didn't. Yeah, but if you was to... I don't think it's very smart. Two of us riding out this way when we might run into Watson and a bunch of his hands here. Well, they say Watson never gets this far north. He might. He might. The odds are all in our favor. The perfect place for him to try to stop us is when we go through Granite Pass. We won't be there till tomorrow. Well, there's the springs. Yeah, and plenty of good water, too. Our luck's holding out okay. You want to ride on down there? No, no reason to. Pull up in the shade of these big rocks. We'll rest the horses a minute. And we'll head on back to the herd. Boo. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, I'm 
I'm just as glad Watson is staying on his own side of the mountains. I'd hate to tangle with anybody in this mess of rocks and boulders. It's pretty rough country. And it stays rough, clear through Granite Pass. We've got a tough drive ahead of us. You've gone as far as you're going, Slaughter. Who's that? Don't go for your guns. You're covered nine ways. Well, we were so darn careful, Wichita, that we forgot to look up over our heads. I'm coming down, but don't move. There's a dozen guns around in these rocks. Eh, that's too many for me. I get nervous when I'm looking at one gun. Well, stranger, I've never seen you before, but I'd say offhand you're Bull Watson. That's right. And I'm here with my boys because you didn't pay any attention to the message I sent you in town yesterday. I thought you'd follow up on that. But I didn't expect to see you so soon or so far from the border. Well, never mind a polite conversation. Come on out, boys. Hmm. Hey, there's a mess up, Luke. Not as many as I figured. The rest of them must be farther south. Toss your guns on the ground, both of you. Do we do it, Luke? We're pretty well outgunned. Got any other ideas? Nope. Now, let me tell you what happens next. You stay here with me, Slaughter, so pile off your horse. If your sidekick rides back and tells your men to turn that herd around and head back for Tombstone. I ain't gonna do it. If those cattle ain't heading another way in ten minutes, I'll put a forty-five slug right through the middle of your boss. I'm leaving right now. Don't worry about me, Wichita. Bring the boys back with you and clean out this nest of sidewinders. Luke, this ain't no time for a grandstand play. You're liable to wind up with a big hole where your stomach ought to be. Your friend Wichita's got more sense than you have, Slaughter. All right, get riding, mister, and get that herd turned. I'm on my way. Get up. Slade? Yeah, Bob. You get your horse and trail him. If that herd ain't headed home in ten minutes, just ride back and let me know. All right, Bob. Sit down and relax, Slaughter. Your herd ought to be on the way back to Tombstone by now, and if it is, you're gonna be all right. Pretty sure of yourself, aren't you, Watson? Looks like I hold the winning cards. We'll see about that. Here comes your boy Slade, fanning it like the devil was after him. Well, now what's happened? I'd say Wichita didn't do what you figure he'd do. Well, one thing he did do was sign your death warrant, Slaughter. Boss, there's a dozen of them right behind me. They're crazy. They may be crazy, but there's plenty of them, and they're looking for trouble. Well, we'll give them trouble, but first I got a little job to do. Stand up, Slaughter. You're licked, Watson. You're outnumbered. I'm not licked yet, but you're all through. I said I'd put a slug in you if that herd didn't head back for Tombstone, and I always keep my promises. In a moment, Luke Slaughter of Tombstone returns. An expression you hear a lot is something to the effect that you can't have everything. It suggests a, well, a kind of responsible acceptance of life. I mean, not forever expecting some miraculous good fortune. And most of us don't. But there are certain youngsters who refuse to go along with that idea. Nearly every day they live, they experience miraculous good fortune. The youngsters, I mean, are the ones with cerebral palsy. The reason they experience wonderful good fortune so often is that, to many of them, just being able to take a step is kind of a miraculous good fortune. Or when, after years of training and struggle and therapy, when at last some little kid with cerebral palsy is able merely to lift a glass to his lips, well, that's having everything to that child. Somewhere in America, cerebral palsy strikes some child every 53 minutes, every day in the year. United Cerebral Palsy is fighting this ruthless, persistent crippler. Join that fight and give hope and heart to some little kid in one of the toughest fights on earth. Join the 53-minute march on cerebral palsy today. And now, Act Two of William N. Robeson's production of Luke Slaughter of Tombstone. (laughs) 
You want to give me back my gun and give me a chance to draw against you? No, I don't. I didn't think you would. Look out, boss. Here they come. Don, they got me. Let him have it, men. There's Wichita. I'll get him. No, you don't. Drop that gun. Oh, let go. Drop it before I break your arm. Slade, don't shoot. You'll hit me. Pistol whip him. Get him off of me. Coming, boss. Oh, <laughs> That was close. Let's get out of here before we get killed. Come on, let's go, man. We're pulling out. You're going to plug Slaughter? No, let him lie there. I want him alive when we hit him at Granite Pass. Come on. Hey, hey. Okay, somebody oh. really put a lump on your head. Mm. Come on, come on. Snap out of it, Luke. Oh, we got to chase him clear back across the border. You ain't thinking very clear. I only left two men with a herd. It's not so good. You're darn right, Change. This bunch could circle around and hit the herd any time. We'd better get back to the cattle. Get the boys together and let's ride. You feel all right? Oh, I just feel dandy. At least I've got a crease on my scalp instead of a hole through my middle. <laughs> Wichita, what are you trying to do? I'm just trying to keep the critters calm down for the night. That singing of yours is just as liable to start a stampede. <laughs> I, I guess I'm really singing to keep myself calm down. Because I don't like the idea of Watson and his bunch of coyotes somewhere out there in the dark. I don't like it either. There's nothing to do but wait it out. Yeah, I told the boys to keep moving around the herd, not to bunch up. Did you warn them about lighting cigarettes? You can see a match for a mile on a night like this. Yeah, I told them. I hope they remember. One thing sure, nobody's getting any sleep tonight but the cook. Well, it could be worse. Eh, how? There could be a moon. Hey, who done that? Who's that? Well, it sounds like Charlie. He was over that way. Come on, get him. Get him. Can't see a dead blamed thing. I hope my horse can. Charlie! Where are you? Oh, 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 here, Luke. Oh. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Oh. What happened? What happened? I, I started to light a cigarette, and some rattlesnake out there in that dark missed my head by an inch. Get blame it, Charlie. I told you not I to... I know, I know, but I wanted to smoke. I forgot. Well, you better swear off smoking until daylight, or you're liable not to be with us when the sun comes up. Well, at least we know they're out there. We just have to be more careful. We stand here gabbing. We're liable to draw some more fire. Yeah, I reckon you're right. We better split up. It looks like it's going to be a long night. Hey, what's your plan now, Luke? Get up here on top of the hill. I want to look at Granite Pass before the cattle head into it. Oh, you know Granite Pass like you know the back of your hand, Luke. You figure that's a place? It's got to be. It's the one perfect spot to stop us between Tombstone and Fort Huachuca. You couldn't build a better trap. <laughs> and we're the bait. That is, if Watson's going to make another play. He'll make a play. Here we are. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, boy, whoa. There's a nice, tight little bottleneck if I ever saw one. Yeah. Nobody's climbing up or down them walls. <laughs> if we're heading into trouble, we'll find it straight up the middle. We'll find it, all right. Take a look down there. Where? Oh, oh, yeah. A couple of them on that side of the road. There's some more up in the rocks. There's some in that clump of trees. Watson brought in some more men. I can count about 15. And there must be more hiding around somewhere. We can't fight that kind of odds and keep the herd moving, too. No, well, I guess we can't. Shush. What a trip this has been. We have a gun battle. You get your skull cut open. Charlie almost gets shot. And now we run into a small army. All we need now is to have the cattle stampede. Ooh, don't even mention it. It'll happen. Sure it will. I'm going to make it happen. Luke Slaughter... 
You ought to get more sleep nights. You're losing your grip. Now, can't you see? That herd of ours will fill this pass from wall to wall. You get all our riders behind the cattle. Start them running through there. And we'll flush Watson and his crew out like a bunch of quail. <laughs> By golly, it might work. Yeah, but, but wait. Now, what happens when we get to the other end of the pass? They'll fan out there, wait for the cows to go by, and chop us down like ducks in a shooting gallery. We'll just bottle up the other end of that pass and grab them as they come out. Uh, you and who else? The sheriff and a pack of deputies are riding out from town right now. I'm going over the mountain and meet them. You get on back and tell the boys what to do. Luke, sometimes I wish you'd let me in on these things sooner. I'd feel darn sight more comfortable. <laughs> Everything worked out just about like I figured it would, Sheriff. Are you sure Watson's in there? He was the last time I looked. And when he comes out, I want him. I owe him for a lump on my head. Well, we better get ready. Pull up, man. Oh, oh boy. boy. Oh. All right, men. Spread out across the pass. As they come out of the canyon, each of you pick a man and ride him down. Right. They'll be pretty busy staying out of the way of that stampede. But watch out for them. They're all professional gun slicks. Any questions? Good. Now scatter out and good luck to you. Not a bit too soon, Sheriff. Look at that cloud of dust up in the pass. Yes, sir. Now how big a herd is it? Ninety head. And they're a spooky bunch of critters. Nothing's stopping them once they really get started. I think I can hear them now. Yeah, here they come. And here come the gents we're looking for, fanning the breeze to stay ahead of the herd. Get out of them, men! Working, Luke. They're too busy running to put up much of a fight. Look, there's Watson. Come on, let's get him. Up, boy, come on. We're closing in on him. Look out, he's going to shoot. I'll put a stop to that. Just got him. He's down, but he's still rolling around. Whoa, whoa. whoa. Watson, get on your feet. I think you broke my shoulder. Luke, here comes the herd. Stick your foot in my stirrup, Watson. Well, I... Come on, I'll hold you. Uh... Ah. to getting caught in our own trap. Yeah, Luke! Oh, oh, oh it, it sure worked slick. Man, I, I never saw a gang rounded up as quick as Watson's bunch. Yeah, the sheriff's men did a fine job. Now you can get the boys and round up our herd. When you've got them calmed down, we'll drive them on into the fort. Looks like you win, Slaughter. But while I'm at it, might as well thank you for saving me from that herd. I didn't want you to get cheated out of what you got coming, Watson. A date with a rope at the territorial prison in Yuma. Luke Slaughter of Tombstone, starring Sam Buffington, was written by Paul Pierce and directed by William N. Robeson. Editorial supervision by Tom Hanley. Supporting Mr. Buffington were Junius Matthews, Barney Phillips, Jack Edwards, Charles Seal, and Norm Alden, with music composed and conducted by Wilbur Hatch. <laughs> Next week at this time, we return with... Slaughter's the name. Luke Slaughter. When we meet up again, you can call me that. Luke Slaughter. This is the CBS Radio Network.